One of the most common requests for a video topic is how to find crow feathers in Grounded. With the addition of the crow feather roof pieces in the Shroom and Doom update, crow feathers have become a much more sought after resource. In this video, I'll show you the fastest way to get crow feathers in Grounded. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. So with one of the recent hot fixes, the devs increased the amount of crow feathers that can be gathered because after the Shroom and Doom update with all the building pieces that were added, players were using a lot more crow feathers and there was just not a there was just not a reliable way to get them um up till that point so the only way to get them prior to the, the most recent patch was the crow would have a chance of dropping a feather while it was flying i don't think they changed that i think it's still 25 percent. but now the crow i think has a hundred percent chance of dropping a small feather when it takes off so i'll show you both kinds of feathers in this video but what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the four different spots that i know for a fact that the crow will land and those, the reason those are of interest is because when the crow takes off from one of these four spots, it will always drop a small feather. And then when it's flying from one spot to the other, there's a 25% chance that it will drop a large, the large crow feather. So first up on our list is going to be the pagoda. And I marked this A. It's in the eastern side of the pond here, the koi pond. And the crow will sit up on top here. Now, I have not personally ever seen a large crow feather drop when it takes off from here. But it can drop when it's uh, away from the pond. I have found a small crow feather. So this is the first spot that I marked. There's uh, three others that I currently know of. So let's head over to the second spot, which is going to be the bird bath over by the hedge. Okay, so I made my way over to the bird bath. This is uh, probably the most common place that you'll find crow feathers, at least from my experience. The bird bath is this square that's right on the uh, corner here of the hedge. And you'll see the bird land up here, or the crow land up here. Now, I found crow fe the large crow feathers out in front here a couple times and also back in the water back there. So if you see the crow over here, you see it land or you see it take off, make sure you search around be search around the entire thing because there's a good chance you'll find a crow feather over here. I just happened to harvest one right before I started recording this. So this is the second spot. And like I said, the crow, fe the crow will fly between the different points. So if you see it flying from the pagoda over to the bird bath, just follow that line over here between the two of them, and there's a chance you'll find a crow feather. So next up, we're going to head over to the third spot that the crow can land and check that out. The third spot on our list is going to be the, I believe it's the northern, yeah, the northern laser here that is around the mysterious machine. So the mysterious machine's right here. We are at the northern laser up here. This is the one that I don't believe you do any repairs to. So sometimes the crow will be sitting up there and it can drop a feather around this, a large feather around this uh, laser here. Now do be mindful that there's quite a bit of orb weaver spiders around this thing. So just be careful when you're, if you're gathering a crow feather around here. And then also while we're over here, we're going to head over to the mysterious machine because the crow, I guess when it's flying between this point and the bird bath will fly near the mysterious machine. Very commonly, you'll end up finding a crow feather by the Mysterious Machine. And I know this just because I've built on most of my worlds, we end up building close to the Mysterious Machine. And you'll oftentimes find uh, crow feathers just laying around the Mysterious Machine. So make sure you uh, check around here if you're in this area, just to see if, you've, uh, if, there's a, if you get lucky and there's a large crow feather. So now let's head over to our final destination, which will be over here on the western side of the map. So our fourth and final stop of where the crow will land is the picnic table, which is on the western side of the map. This isn't an unfinished part of the map right now. It's under construction. As you'll see, there's a construction tape there. It is actually pretty safe to come over if you're over here because the only thing that's going to be around is in the water area, in the flooded zone over here, there's going to be, there could be some mosquitoes. And then there's also a wolf spider down these rocks that just sits there and also wanders around. But over here, you should be pretty safe outside the construction tape. I don't think I've ever seen the spiders come over here. Actually, there is another spider over here as well. There's a spider up here underneath like a slanted rock. And then there's a spider over here somewhere. I don't know if I've ever seen them over here underneath the tape. They might wander over there now that the their pathing has been changed. But anyway, the crow can land up on the picnic table. And it can, has a chance. It'll, it has a chance of dropping a large crow feather. So those are the four spots. Just to recap... We got the picnic table, which was where we just were. The first place we went was the pagoda in the eastern part of the koi pond. The second place was the bird bath, which is over in the hedge. The third place was in the center of the map on the northern laser, just north, north of the mysterious machine. 
like I said, what you want to do is you want to be mindful where the crow lands. When it takes off, it will always drop a small crow feather, which I'll show you what they look like in just a second. And then when it's flying between the different points, there's a 25% chance it'll drop a large crow feather between those points. And also be mindful that I quite frequently find crow feathers in the and around the mysterious machine and then also by the bird bath those are the two places that i seem to find them most often it's probably just because they're they're like landmarks you can just find them like randomly so if the crow flies from point a to point b there could be a crow feather anywhere over in the side of the map which is probably a uh, area that's not like frequently traveled and just as likely there could be like they could be in the middle of the yard just if it's flying depending on where it's flying so those are the four spots mark them on your map or just be remember where they are and let's head on over real quick, and I will show you what a sm what the small crow feather looks like. All right, so I'm over by the pagoda, and unfortunately, when I loaded back into this world, the, the small crow feather fell under the water. When I saved the game, it was actually sitting on top, but now it's underneath. We're just going to dive down there real quick. There is a diving bell spider over there. Hopefully it doesn't mess with us, and also the koi fish. So let's let the koi fish get out of here. You can actually see it directly down there. It is just a tiny feather, and I'm just going to hop down here real quick. I should be safe. So this is what it looks like right here. We're not going to fight anything. It just looks like this. You're going to have to have a level 2 chopping device. And it'll give you a couple of crow feathers. Not as many as the large. But like I said, there's a 100% chance that's going to drop. So that's what the small ones look like. Now, if I would have chopped it up before I saved and exited out and came back in, it was sitting on top of the water. So hopefully when you see them, that'll be the case. And also note that when I came over here, it was like floating down like very gently. And then it just landed in the water. So... Just watch wherever the bird, the crow takes off from and then just scout the area around it if you don't actually see the little feather fall and you, you should be able to find it. So let's go. I'm going to go scout out and see if I can find a large crow feather just so you can see what they look like in case you're unaware. Okay, so I've spotted a large crow feather and this one's stuck up in this weed. So to get it down, we're going to have to chop this husky weed down. Now, like I said, you're going to need a tier two chopping tool in order to harvest this thing anyway. So we're just going to cut this down. And this one just happens to be between the bird bath and the, or was it? It was between the bird bath path and the picnic table. Of course, it got stuck in the huskiest of husky weeds here. All right, so there it goes. It's going to fall. So these, like I said, have a 25% chance of falling. And when you chop it up, you should get usually around five or six crow feathers just chop it up we got one two three four five drop a bunch of stuff there so so that was the large crow feather and like i said what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you follow if you're in, if you need if you need crow feathers just look for the crow see where it's going from point a to point b or from whatever point it's going from to whatever point it's going to and you should be able to easily find crow feathers pretty fast so you can build yourself um, whatever you want out of crow feathers. Because honestly, the crow feather pieces are, in my opinion, the best looking. And I'm sure that's what the devs were intending because they are much harder to craft than the other, than the clover roof pieces. Or just using a grass floor for the roof piece. So. so before we wrap the video up, a couple other tips I can give would be... If possible, build yourself some like tall lookout towers like this, like we have on top of our main house here in our survival world, because it just makes it easy. You can easily see if there's just crow feathers around, especially if you build it in the areas. Like I said, if you build around the mysterious machine, quite often they're close to it. For example, the one I just got was just right over here, just north of the mysterious machine. And then also if you make yourself a zip line, just zip on down here while we're going. With the zip line, if you make zip lines across, especially if you cross the paths where the crow can fly, you'll oftentimes find crow feathers like in the middle of the yard that you would probably otherwise not see just because they're just buried inside the, the tall grass here. So those are a couple of other tips. And you're going to want to definitely make sure you, anytime you see a large crow feather, try to harvest it. And if you just happen to be in the area where the crow is taking off from, make sure you just wander around where it's taking off from and you should be able to get yourself a small crow feather and get a couple of uh, crow feather pieces. And you should be well on your way to building whatever you want to build out of the uh, crow feathers. That's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to smash the like button as it really helps my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.